Dr. King also has a rich, rich history here in Philadelphia. Rallies to desegregate Girard College began in May of 1965 and went all the way through December. Calls to break down the color barriers at the then all-white male boarding school grew louder in August of that year when Dr. King's voice echoed around the campus. Our Natasha Brown shows us how Dr. King's lasting legacy has impacted the historic Philadelphia school. Behind the walls of Girard College in North Philadelphia sits a sprawling campus filled with a rich legacy. We sit on 43 acres. Uh, it's about 30 buildings. The school is in its 170th year, founded by Stephen Girard for orphaned white males. But in August of 1965, everything would change. His arrival on August 3rd uh, was something that was absolutely historic. Uh, Cecil B. Moore uh, and the Freedom Fighters, uh, they led marches and pickets uh, around campus. During the height of the Civil Rights Movement, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. loaned his voice to a movement in Philadelphia in hopes of desegregating Girard College. The rally attracted hundreds and hundreds of people, hanging on Dr. King's every word. It was really about access to educational excellence and opportunity and obviously that's a hallmark of uh, to Dr. King's legacy. Henry Fairfax is the vice president for institutional advancement and enrollment at Girard College. We serve uh, students that are coming from underrepresented backgrounds uh, that are functional orphans. Uh, they can't, uh, they come from environments where they're single parent homes. The Philadelphia native took us on a tour with historic memorabilia like this jacket. I this was worn on the first day of his, his school. It symbolized the day four young African-American students broke the color barrier at the school three years after Dr. King's rally. In September 11th, 1968, so we went from orphan white male back in 1831, 1848 when the school opens its doors uh, to well, today we're about 81 percent students of color. The graduation pictures from decades of matriculating students are now dotted with diversity and Gerard College also now acts as one of the biggest hosts on Dr. Martin Luther King's day of service every year. We're a signature site and there's almost six, seven thousand people on campus doing community service projects. The boarding school for first through 12th grade students is also about to celebrate a milestone, its 50th year of desegregation. Its students and staff standing on the shoulders of giants of change. If it wasn't for them, I wouldn't have an opportunity to be here. And more, you know, more important, our students wouldn't have access to this. Every time I have an opportunity to meet someone that was a part of that history, I say thank you. Well, certainly a lot of history there at Girard College. September 11th will mark the 50th year of the school's desegregation. Also this year is the school's 170th anniversary. And mm. you guys, they are still just working to make sure that campus is diverse as possible. That's a wonderful mm -hmm. thing and an incredible historic uh, year for them, really. Yeah, absolutely. Like. Standing yeah. on the shoulders of giants. Well yeah, said. Thanks, Natasha.